Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Uh, in this series, we're working on Lab 10 Backup Virtual Machines. Uh, that is from Microsoft Learning AZ-104, which is Microsoft Azure Administrator exam. In the last couple of videos, we created our lab environment where we have two different virtual machines hosted in the East US region. In the last video, we created a recovery vault and look at some of the settings that it offers. In this video, we're going to implement the Azure Virtual Machine Level Backup. So let's go to the task. Here's the task. So uh, what we need to do, we need to go to the Recovery Vault and we're going to configure a backup by clicking the plus backup uh, uh, link. So let's go to our Recovery Vault, uh, which should be over here. So this is our recovery vault. Okay, we're already in there. So let's go back. If you are not in there, you can just go there and look for the resource directly and it will show up. Select the resource and under getting started, you have a backup and the site recovery option. So this time we're going to go to backup and we'll start the backup. Now notice that it says click on plus backup. We didn't have to do that. We just uh, click on this one. And it gave me the options that uh, Azure and Virtual Machine that already selected in here. Okay, just note that this storage by default it it's set to geo redundant, and once you once this option cannot be changed after uh, once we do this. Okay, uh, then uh, Azure and Virtual Machine they're automatically selected, and if you look at the option, you can uh, back up workload running it could be azure as your stack or on-prem so right now we are going to work with azure environment and what can you back up you can back up virtual machines file share sql server in an azure vm or sap hana in azure vm so all four options are available uh, once that's done on the backup gold blade keep uh, click on backup so this option is also a little bit different so here you only thing we have option available is the backup so you click on that one now you come to the backup policy and we're going to review the default policy setting and choose backup policy drop down list and we're going to create a new one so here's the default policy okay the for the default policy we have a backup frequency which is daily at 2 30 pm utc uh, we have instant restore uh, retain instant recovery snapshots for two days. Uh, we have a retention range, retention of daily backup point, retain backup taken every day at 2:30 p.m. for 30 days. So that's my default policy. But for this lab, we're gonna create a new policy. So we're gonna click on create new policy. That's gonna open up a new window where we're gonna give the policy name to begin with. And then it's a daily backup. We want to run at 12 a.m. So 12. twelve a.m. And uh, it says the time of my local zone. So UTC is fine. I can also choose something else. I'm just looking for Eastern if I can find it real quick. That's my central US and Eastern time. So that's my time zone. So I chose that one. You choose your own and retain instant recovery snapshot for two days. So that's already there. Uh, click OK to create the policy. This will automatically transition to the items to backup step and open the select virtual machine blade. So here it didn't really ask you to change anything. It's a weekly backup point or monthly backup point, yearly backup point. They're not configured and we're okay with that. We'll just click on okay. So it's gonna use the new backup policy. And here it says no virtual machine selected. So now this time you gotta add the virtual machines, okay? So let's add that. And again, note that this note, this is a little bit different. 
uh, than uh, what we have in the lab and that's a common thing with Azure they will change the interface slightly uh, every so often and if you see a little bit of difference in the lab instruction versus what you see that's probably because of that and they're pretty good at updating all these uh, lab exercises frequently but sometimes you just have to guess and see what they're actually asking you to do anyway so when I clicked on add now it's telling us that we have two different virtual machines that are that can be backed up so select virtual machine let's select this and okay enable backup so he's saying for zero and I'm gonna say okay uh, back to the backup let click, click on enable backup wait for this backup to be enabled this should take about two minutes wow so here uh, we can now click on so I have selected only one VM and I'm just gonna clear, uh, click on enable backup so they're saying it may take up to uh, two minutes so let's go back and read what what else do we need to do so they are saying navigate back to the same recovery service wall in the protected item section click backup items and then click on the Azure virtual machines entry okay so let's see so that deployment is still under progress so let me pause the video for just couple minutes and be back as soon as it's done all right the deployment is now successful and you can see it says deployment succeeded so let's go to the resource group and from here we need to figure out the protected items most likely so we enable the backup there's a last step we completed uh, pro protected items section click backup items so protected items so let's see if there is any protected items in here I don't even see any protected items. so let's search for it okay this one I don't see let me see recovery service bled am I in the recovery no I'm not in the resource group so let's go to the recovery service bled and let's see here's a protected item so okay so they, that's where we had the backup items and the replicate uh, replicated items so those two so yeah so we are back in here so we started with the getting started we use the backup and configured our backup and once that's done now we are in the protected items uh, area under this I have the backup items and so click on backup backup items and then as your virtual machines you look if you look at it I have one so let's click on it if you click on it this virtual machine has has uh, uh, showing up and backup pre-check has passed last backup status says warning initial backup pending okay uh, review the state of value of the backup pre-check and the last backup entries uh, and click the VM uh, VM0 entry so again I can click on that entry okay so we are drilling down to more deeper level more granular level to see more information about our machine now and here you can see here a whole bunch of options backup now we have rec we don't have any restore now option because we don't have any backup there's nothing to restore uh, there's option for stop backup um, here's some alerts again the backup check is here last backup status is right here uh, press consistent application consistent and file system consistent there are different type of backups and they're saying that uh, we do not have any restore points available at this time so let's go back uh, we can click backup now uh, and accept the default value so it this backup uh, it will automatically trigger based on our policy but if you need to take an instant backup we can come over here and always click on the backup now and return some value we'll just keep the uh, check the default and we'll hit OK so it's saying do not wait for the backup to complete but instead proceed to the next task so in this video we have configured a, a backup policy for a virtual machine that we have in our system and uh, that is the end of this section 
So I will see you in the next video where we're going to implement the file and folder backups. Again, this section was primarily focused on backing up and the process for uh, for our virtual machines within the recording vault that we created in the next video will work on backing up files and folders. So thank you. Good luck with the exam. See you in the next video.